Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get your Nintendo DS emulator to look just like I did with that skin. The first thing that you're going to want to do is download those um, Nintendo DS skins that I actually put inside of the links below. Download those and then go to your, um, go to this folder here, your My Files application, and make sure that you stick it into the internal storage, then go to drastic folder that you should have and stick it in your backgrounds, okay? So once you open up my files, just go to, go to the Drastic application after you download it from the Play Store and then stick it into a folder called Backgrounds. And this is where if you ever want to import a different skin on this application, you're gonna wanna stick it here. So all of these are in the link um, in the description below. So go ahead and download these files, download the Drastic application, it's free and well, yeah, I think it's free inside the Play Store. <laughs> we go ahead and download Drastic if you really want it and it costs money now, go ahead and purchase it, but yeah. So once you have all of that set up, let's go ahead and open up the Drastic application and you can go ahead and just load a new game. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the uh, Pokemon game here and hit start. And as you can see, I, I had a white one before and I just switched it here to this blue one. So this looks really cool. Cut the volume down here so you all can hear me. Um, now, from there, you notice that I, you don't have, you don't really see my start and select buttons anymore. That's because I changed it. So once you actually get this application open up, you're not going to see this, but you're going to go into your um, menu button here, and then after that, we're going to go to Edit Screens and Virtual Pad. And the one that I'm using right now is the Landscape One One. So tap that. And as you can see, this person here is the one responsible for these skins. So shout out to this guy here. <laughs> um, but anyways, go ahead and from here, you can like open the tools and you're gonna wanna resize your displays for um, actually fitting inside of this here. So you can kind of see, you know, I actually resize mines. So you can, you're gonna wanna go ahead and resize your displays to fit here. That's if you want it to fit inside of this skin. You certainly don't have to, but to make it fit inside of here, resize your displays. Just hit resize screen and you can move it around. So once you have that to your liking, um, <clears throat> you can also go to menu here on the bottom left. And if you go to edit controller layout, here is where you can move the buttons around. So I have mine laid right on top here. And then I also for my, you know, my D-pad here, I have this right on top. And I have the R and the L here, but you'll see in a moment that I kind of, I'm not using all of this stuff, so. Once you actually have everything where you want it to be, just make sure that you hit apply on the bottom left. And then for this skin here, make sure that you go into menu, and then we're gonna go to set background image. And from here, this is gonna be reading from that folder, the background folder that we use in the My Files application or any kind of you know file explorer that you use. But anyways, this is where you can change these. So right now I'm gonna change it to the red one. It doesn't matter which one that you pick, but once you have the one that you want, just press menu. And I like to save as global layout. You can mess around with the other options, but just to show you how I got it set up currently, go to save as global layout and then Let's see, this is looking pretty good so far. So once you go back into the menu here, go to options and then for virtual gamepad. If you want to, you can do this, you don't have to, but for this controller here, this is gonna control how much can you see those buttons. So I'm gonna turn it all the way up here so you can see what that looks like. And you see how you can see all of these buttons over. This is totally fine if you wanna play this way. You don't have to but this is just one way to actually do it. But let's actually go back to um, in the menu and let's go back to options again. And if you go to virtual gamepad <laughs> and scroll back down, you can actually turn these all the way down if you want to. And again, you don't have to, that's just the way that I did it. And there's a lot of settings for you to play around with. Like I turned on the haptic feedback. So this is a great application. Um, it, it runs the DS games really well. If you have a stylus, you feel right at home. If something isn't where it's supposed to be, just go back into the menu and go back to edit screens and virtual pad and just make sure that you move it around, you know, where you want it to be. Maybe I moved mine to the wrong place and I need to move it back up here. That's fine. 
Okay, I'll just move that one. Hit save, go back. There you go. You know, no big deal. So yeah, change this around. When it's folded, it looks just like a freaking DS. <laughs> and this is so cool. This is one of the few devices where you can do stuff like this. You know, you can't do things like these on so many devices and this is just amazing. And again, if you have the um, Fold Edition S Pen or the S Pen Pro, whichever one, you know, really the Fold Edition one is really good. But anyways, if you have that stylus, it makes you feel like it's just a blast from the past. It's so cool. And the games run so well on this emulator. I mean, when it's, look at that, when it's sitting there, that looks just like a DS. I sent a picture of this to my friend and he was like, man, I thought that was an actual DS for a minute. But yeah, this is freaking cool. I'm gonna change it. The only one I haven't tried just yet is the um, is the black one. Let's try that one now. So by now, you, ask, you all should know now how to do all this set background image. I'm gonna go with the black one. And then I'm gonna go to menu and save as global layout. Let's go back. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. It even has a little power. Yeah, very cool stuff. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoy this tutorial. As far as games, look online. There's a whole lot of different websites. Of course, I'm not allowed to share different, um, you know, ROM and stuff like that with you all. It's, it's um, illegal. <laughs> but yeah, if you have a copy of the game, um, that should maybe mean a little something to somebody. I don't know. I'll let you deal with that part morally. But yeah. These games are meant to be enjoyed, so if you really want to, just go out there and find it, and you can easily just type in the name of the game that you want for the DS, and just put ROM at the end of it, like on Google or something, and I'm sure you'll be able to find pretty much any game that you want to play up here. So, anyways, hope you all enjoyed this quick little tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy holidays.